the best UX design type is one that is sustainable. There are so many design trends that have come and gone, and some of them are still with us today. Hamburger menus, micro interactions, gradient overlays. These things we've seen, they've come, they've been a flash in the pan, and then they're out the door. If you don't want your design to have to be so flashy, it does not have to be. Your design does not have to be flashy. It has to be flexible. I find that the best designs have that flexibility, are able to adapt to trends that make the most sense, to accessibility updates, to improved guidelines. You don't want to have to reinvent the wheel every time something comes out. You want to make, you want to make sure your design can sustain you through different design changes, industry trends, regulations. That is what makes the best kind of design. Let's take something that we all know, Airbnb. They are the rental company where you can book stays at other people's homes, rent out properties, that thing. We all know Airbnb. I think Airbnb's design has contributed to their longevity and their success. There are obviously other competitors, but I think Airbnb has it really dialed in. There are a lot of things that I think they do really well that have contributed to a sustainable design. A few things to keep in mind while you're building your design that I believe Airbnb has done well. So let's kind of compare. One thing is the simplicity and clarity. They've prioritized essential information while minimizing clutter. So when you look at a page on Airbnb, like I'm doing now, you see listings at the top, you see bigger photos, the location, how far it is from you, general availability dates, and then the price per night. Websites like Airbnb that have a lot of information, they have to walk a fine balance of getting the information out there without making it look cramped and cluttered. And I believe they do a very good job of that. Another thing to include and keep in mind is the visual hierarchy. So with Airbnb, they do a really good job, especially when it comes to the listing. Once you've selected a property, they have like the key details, pricing, location, length of stay, like the nights that you're wanting to stay, amenities. And these are the kind of things that a user can go through quickly if they're looking through a lot of listings. So having like that information kind of prioritized, like photo, heading, smaller heading, text, those are the kind of things that we as humans can kind of understand that visually and we can process that information faster making for a cleaner, more successful end-to-end -end design. Another thing they do really well is a consistent design pattern. What you see on the web is very similar to how it'll appear on a tablet to how it'll appear on mobile. Mobile will be a little bit condensed, of course, but the information is laid out the same. If I was looking at this from afar, I could probably still tell generally like what these callouts are pertaining to. A key element of making sure your design is sustainable is understanding and analyzing your user. Your core user is probably not going to change over time. People that are going on to Airbnb, they're going on with a specific mission, and that's probably not going to change years down the road. So you want to make sure that you are just still designing for what those use cases are going to be. And obviously people are going to want to adapt. Maybe the way, maybe the type of stays are going to change. There might be more of an influx of one thing and a decrease in something else. When you understand your core user and you're designing for their needs, you're going to have that successful design that's going to carry you through and give you that longevity. Another thing that's so, so important is accessibility. Accessibility guidelines have changed. They have probably gotten even more stringent. <laughs> you know, you guys remember the internet of 1998, early 2000s versus what it looks like now. You couldn't get away with designing something like that just because our accessibility guidelines have changed over the years. And that's normal. And I think that's something to anticipate. To stay up to date with that, make sure you're following the reputable sources like WA1 and reviewing the guidelines from the WCAG. Those kinds of things are always going to make sure that you are in step with whatever the most current guidelines are. Creating a design that is sustainable and has longevity isn't too difficult if you follow the basic design principles and you keep in mind some of the things that we talked about.